uplifting your spirit through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional. To be like Jesus, have a forgiving spirit. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Matthew 6, 14 and 15. Our Savior taught his disciples to pray, Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. A great blessing is here asked upon conditions. We ourselves state these conditions. We ask that the mercy of God towards us may be measured by the mercy which we extend to others. Christ declared that this is the rule by which the Lord will deal with us. If ye forgive men their trespass is your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Wonderful terms, but how little are they understood or heeded? One of the most common sins and one that is attended with most pernicious results is the indulgence of unforgiving spirit. How many will cherish animosity or revenge and then bow before God and ask to be forgiven as they forgive. Surely they can have no true sense of the importance of this prayer, or they would not dare to take it upon their lips. We are dependent upon the pardoning mercy of God. Every day and every hour, how then can we cherish bitterness and malice toward our fellow sinners? If in all their daily relations, Christians would carry out the principles of this prayer, what a blessed change would be wrought in the church and in the world. This would be the most convincing testimony that could be given to the reality of Bible religion. We are admonished by the apostle, let love be without dissimulation, abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good, be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love in honor, preferring one another. Paul would have us distinguish between the pure and selfish love, which is prompted by the Spirit of Christ, and the unmeaning deceitful pretense with which the world abounds. This base counterfeit has misled many souls. It would blot out the distinction between right and wrong by agreeing with the transgressors instead of faithfully showing them their errors. Such a course never springs from real friendship. The spirit by which it is prompted dwells only in the carnal heart. While Christians will be ever kind, compassionate, and forgiving, they can feel no harmony with sin. They will abhor evil and cling to that which is good. At the sacrifice of associate or friendship with the ungodly, the spirit of Christ will lead us to hate sin while we are willing to make any sacrifice to save the sinner. To be like Jesus, January 5th. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you all for listening, and please join us once again tomorrow for your daily devotional reading. God bless. <music>